So basically it's an ESP8266 module here on this board and this is some generic board and the main goal of this application, the ESP remote, is to be as, uh, as universal as possible. So it's not uh, speci specifically, it's not application to do some specific thing, but it's rather uh, universal application where you can assign your own controls to any output or input of this board and it's all controlled by Wi-Fi. So uh, you can see here that uh, here are some basic setup, some example, and here's an IP of the, of the server, which is running on any, any Linux machine or even uh, wireless router. And you can connect any, any number of uh, ESP modules to, to it. And you can control, you can add unlimited number of controls to do various things. So you can, for example, add a uh, button here. Uh, you can see the label. And the simplest button, you can you select uh, a board and output type. Uh, for example, digital and output number one, for example. And that's buzzer. So you can place it here, you can resize, uh, you can even change the color, it's fully customizable. So you can save and then when you press it's and the buzzer is buzzing right here on, on this board. So we've prepared some basic example for it, uh, you can delete the control and here is the simple buzzer. As you can see, the icon icon is also changing. The application is designed to also run on Android system, and you can see it's exactly the same setup. It's automatically synchronized, and as I can press here, it's also pressing here, and it's exactly the same. And another feature, you can add multiple screens with controls and you can switch. Uh, on this screen, we have simple GL control, which controls uh, its set hooked up to analog output of board temp and with frequency of one kilohertz. And as we, of course, we can change on, so we can save. And as we change this, the motor here is changing its its speed and as you can see the controls are synchronizing and i am changing it on the computer and it's changing here and the same if i change on android it's also changing the screen there and the same with this uh, these buttons. The main advantage of this uh, of this uh, particular application is that everything is scriptable. There are four scripting engines. Every every uh, you can script in, in JavaScript, and you can script the user interface uh, with controls. You can script uh, controls on the server when no no application no client application is running. You can still control or check the inputs or outputs of the board, and you can also uh, script the board itself. Where it has a JavaScript interpreter on it, and you can write simple scripts. So you can change the board settings and select the board. And we have here all sorts of settings and we have script which is running on this board. And it's written in JavaScript and it's just the simple thing. So uh, if any digital input is changed, we, ch we check if pin is a equals to 13 and then we print it, it's printing to the serial. Uh, that prints LED 
plus uh, the status of the input and then to digital 15 it's printing the same variable from here so if we press this button it's 13 the led should light up so you can see it's directly it's running on javascript right now on this this board on esp module there is no other microprocessor it's all here on this esp8266 module oh i <laughs> Uh, and then if uh, if the button is off, so ne negated on, then we start the timer and in the timer we just uh, repeat every 20 milliseconds, 11 times, and we write uh, one zero, one zero and so forth. So uh, if I press this button, it just buzzing in the pattern every 20 milliseconds. And everything is running on the ESP module right, right here. And besides the uh, scripts on the module, there is also server script. So it's it can be more complicated because it's running on this uh, on the Linux machine, and it's uh, and we hook up the analog uh, input from this board to drive the stepper motor which is on the separate board without any connection it's all wirelessly and if i turn this knob right here the mod stepper motor is is changing and there's no dedicated code for it it's just one simple script running on the on the server Another example is uh, the control on the application itself and you can we write this simple script here and it's uh, reading the analog value from the thermometer and if its value is uh, greater than 620 we just sw switch the color of the of this control to red and then we digital write uh, write uh, one on the output zero, which is buzzer, and if not, uh, we change it to green and digital write zero, and that's all. And uh, all, and we have uh, checking if the board is temperature, so we don't read from the other board. So if we do it right here, we can see that we should be able to see that. If I press this, the temperature is rising and it's updating life. And if it's greater than this value, it's press it again and it's changing all during real time. And also here, it's exactly the same. So another feature is uh, the control synchronization, the layout synchronization. So if I change something, for example, I don't know, I move it right here I, and I save it, it's automatically synchronizing to all, all other boards. So it's also loading here because it, the tablet is slow and it's working so you can design the the controls on the one computer and everything is synchronized through multiple devices and for this uh, controls we have we've got the simple simple color controls which is uh, changing its colors to red when the input one is changed and for 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 inputs and we have the script written for the label here and as we edit it we can see the script here and it's just uh, checking if the two controls are uh, are on and then it's incrementing the value in the text so it's working like like this so if you if we take this and uh, here 
and everything is in the real time C rising and the script is updating the label so it's all real, real time and all on the every device And another control we have uh, we got here is uh, alarm control and it's designed to run on the Android background as a service so you can even if the application is not running you can mo still monitor the uh, some f inputs or or temperature or anything you like so uh, it's uh, currently hooked right here for the input for of this board and that's this button right here and if I press it we should see the alarm going on and uh, one reason is you can have it when the application is not running and you can clo close it entirely and even lock the phone and it should bring it up it's running the application now so it's a little bug but it's still early in the development but you can see that even on a locked phone it's still showing the alarm so you can you can be sure that any alarm you're, you're going on on the board for example for home automation the temperature you can be sure that it will always show you this alarm. And another feature is that you can config the, the board here. So if you press the button here, it's for configuration. And if you go here to module config, it's try to connect, connect to this board. And then you can see the Wi-Fi name, password, the name of the, of the device, server IP address, and also the static IP address if you want. If you don't want, it's, it's also working. And it, it, all, it also can run without the server, so you don't need the, the server running. Uh, it's uh, running on your device, so you can write here a name, test module, and direct connection, and save, and it's saved, and the module is re reboot, and we can see here, it's test module right here, so write the password, connect, Oh, and now it's connected directly between this board and this device and as this this device is running the server the uh, so any scripts uh, server scripts are still active and can be run and also any other module can connect to this device so you have the you can create some like a pre private network for this without the need of any external device so it can be tablet for any device or in the phone or even PC computer and everything is uh, connecting wirelessly as you can see. So it's very uh, convenient to, to build something even user interface for, for device or for the machine and all the, without any cable. So to summarize, uh, it can be used to, for example, home automation, uh, intelligent houses. Uh, it can be even used to create interfaces for the machines or, or anything like that. 
and you don't need any external microprocessor even because you can write uh, critical code on JavaScript here and you can write scripts for an advanced user interface right here and uh, you can even have alarms if something goes wrong or, or or anything and there's a couple of other options you can export the the layout with all the images and sounds to a file uh, to and you can send it to someone so someone else uh, here's the option save layout to file and you can save the password uh, disallow editing hide the connect parts so basically you can hide everything and it's uh, it's also right here so hide connect bar when connected and it's it's hide hidden and you can write the interface without uh, without even showing the general general interface of the application and only show your designed controls with your your settings and you can uh, drive anything with this anything you can like so the so the most powerful uh, option of this is the scripting where, where you can every control you can write anything you want and that's basically it so uh, we are we also plan to develop smaller boards to fit to electrical box so we can for example use it to dim light or uh, control some automation some some devices in household devices and uh, you should be able to just uh, create a couple of controls here and drive your entire home from, from one place, from your smartphone or even from your computer because it's the same application and that, that's the same code. Another cool feature is that you can create your own control using QML language and you can load it to the application at runtime. So as you can see I prepared here a short uh, QML file with a 3D model and I can go to, the, to my Android phone and I can load it so we go to the design mode at the control select QML file and see model.qml and wait for it to load and then you can select the board input time to analog and input 1 and we add it and it should create a 3D model and there it is so we can scale it up, move it to up, and we can control it using this knob right here. And it's all in real time, and we can even change the view here. And it's all working, as you can see, very smoothly and very fast. So the possibilities are endless. So thanks for watching and see you next time.